What's up everyone? Chrono here and today I'm playing some more Avorian. If you enjoy the video please remember to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and want to keep up with what I'm up to please remember to subscribe. Share the video with others if you think they'll enjoy it and if you want to help support the channel please check out one of the support option links in my description of this video. So today I'm going to be talking about the basic tools that you need to build your ship. And this is basically just going to be a short tutorial on how to assemble the blocks. And I'm not going to go into any detail about the material types or anything like that. Just the basic tools to put your ship together. So if you haven't already, you need to found your ship once you've started your game. And you can do so by unlocking your mouse cursor and clicking the flag to found your ship. And we'll just call it ship. If I can spell ship. And then you'll start off with just this basic floating block in space. Once you have this, you can either click the robotic icon up in the top right, robotic arm icon, or hit the B key to go into the ship editor. And then you'll be in here with just your basic block. So again, you build your ship out of blocks naturally. And as such, <coughs> when you're assembling your ship, it's assembled on a grid. So you can change the size of that grid with that grid slider. So you can make it snap in a more fine grid or a larger grid. And that comes in handy if you want to do some really detailed builds or really large builds. The default on this slider and the slider below it is 0.5. The slider below is called scale step and when you're building your ship you can resize your blocks. The scale step allows you to change the scaling factor so you can do really fine scaling or really large scaling. Again, it really depends on how detailed or how large you want your build to be. So those tools will help you adjust the scale and size of how you're doing your build. Next, we can do no snapping. You can snap to the global grid of the ship, the local grid, which I believe is just the block that you're on. Someone can feel free to correct me on that in the comments. But the one that I use most of the time is local grid or block metal. And block middle makes it really quick and easy for you to just drop a block in the center of the one that you're about to place it on. Next is mirroring. Mirroring is really good if you want to do symmetrical builds. And when you select one of these axes, either the X, Y, or Z, it will throw up a plane so that you can see how your ship is going to be mirrored once you drop the blocks on. So X will do it on the X axis, of course. Y do top and bottom and Z will do front and back. Very quick and easy way to do symmetrical builds. This button down here will also allow you to change the location of your mirroring. So another tool that we can use, we can select a block, hit focus to focus on just that block and move the camera to that respective position and then you can change the mirroring. This will work best for the X axis here. And you can see once I click that button, it moved the mirroring plane to this block so that I could do mirroring based off of just this one block. So let's say if I scale this block down a little bit. Whoops. So I made it smaller. You can see that it's doing X mirroring here. And you can do the same with the other axes and so on. So again, really good to help you do symmetrical builds. This is handy if you wanted to do something that was uh, off symmetry from the center of the ship. So, you know, for example, the Millennium Falcon had the cockpit on the side of the ship. You could do the bulk of the body in standard X and Y axis builds and then move the mirroring plane to the side of the ship and build up the cockpit, for example. So that's mirroring. Safe mode prevents you from making accidental deletions. So for example, if I were to select that block, it won't let me delete it in safe mode. That's the root of the ship. I can't delete it in safe mode. But if I did delete it, then other blocks will go with it. So you can see what happens. Safe mode prevents you from doing that by accident. And if you do delete the root of your ship, as you can see, you come back out to your drone. Just hit the found ship button again and start over and go back into build mode 
The next thing you can do is match block sizes. So if I had a smaller block scaled, but I wanted to match this block, I can hit the match block button and it will match the dimensions of the plane that you're on. It would typically try to remember like your height, you can see how high I have that block. But when I hit match, it matches the width. So it remembers the other direction. If you do match shape, it attempts to match the block more closely. You can't really see the difference on this, but if you were doing builds with two or three uh, sides of a ship together, it can help you match the shape more closely. Then you can go into randomize mode. You have to have match block and match. And by the way, match shape is uh, disabled if you don't have match block turned on. But if you have match block turned off and you can turn on randomized mode and you can see it does all kinds of crazy stuff. Really nice if you want to do some unsymmetrical builds to give your ship a really unique uh, appearance. Now to the tools down here. This will show your current color that you selected. And if you want to change the color of your ship, you can go to this spray can icon, select a color, and then just start clicking the blocks of your ship that you want to change. And then you can just see that color here. These next two are selection tools. So we can click this one to select multiple blocks. You can always middle click with your mouse wheel, middle mouse button, and select just a single block. But if I want to select multiple blocks, I can click on this and I can either click individually or I can drag click around the different blocks. And then you can take this select blocks by drawing a frame. Draw your frame around and it will select everything within the frame. But you have to be careful with that one because once you draw that frame, it will get everything in the frame. So let's say for example if I had a couple more blocks like so. Let's get this one lined up. And then I did this selection. It will get everything behind it as well. So you want to be careful with that tool. If you do something like a mass deletion or mass color change or material change anything that's behind it can get changed as well and you may or may not want to do that so just use caution when selecting with that one the next tool we'll talk about is the transform block tool this is great to let you change not only the type of block but the material so if I wanted to change this section of hull into crew quarters for example select the crew quarters select the transform block tool and click on it and it becomes crew quarters or this one either way or if you wanted to change it to a different material type block you can do the same Oops. just make sure you select the transform tool block first and that changes it from iron to titanium another really good option if you want to gradually perform upgrades to your ship or if you're building out and decide that you hey I don't want that to be hull or cargo space I want that to be crew quarters you can quickly change it the next tool is the Merge Selected Blocks tool. So you can see I put these three blocks up here. Well, it was three blocks. But let's say if I wanted these two to become one. I can select... Oh, I'm still on the Transform. My apologies. Let's go to Select. Select these two blocks. And I can merge them. Oh, they have to be the same type, though. So let's just make sure we have them the same. Let's just change those back to, to Hull disable this message so that's iron blank hole iron blank hole let's say we wanted these to become one we can select them and merge them and they become a single block this is really handy when you are gradually piecing your ship together and for example what I just did there if I wanted to match other blocks to that then I can quickly make changes to just the individual block or match blocks to it for symmetry. So where I had it before, if I wanted to build another small block, then you can see it would be a lot more challenging to center this block across those two. But if I merge them, I 
if I merge them, then it makes it more easy to center or build off of that block. Then you have your delete button to delete, undo, redo, map to respective buttons, delete to the to the delete key, control Z and control Y with your standard undo redo. And then you can also repair your ship in the screen. Now when you repair your ship here it will take all of the materials and money and you have to have mechanics and whatnot on board to or enough crew to repair your ship. But you're always better off to repair your ship at a dock if possible. This is great to let you repair it if you're in a situation where you need to, but you'll save money by repairing at the dock. Then we talked about the uh, move mirror to selection and the focus. The next one we'll talk about is the predefined shapes, which you can either click this button or hit the V key to pull up the ships. Now, if you click the button, it leaves the pane up. If you tap the V key, it leaves it up as long as you hold the V key. But this pulls up a, a huge list of just different predefined shapes. And that's great if you don't want to mess with a lot of scaling and just you know pop certain specific types of blocks on. And whatever block you select will change according to the material. So if I go into titanium blank hole and then change it to this block, then it matches it with titanium blank hole. Next we can open the open block stats. So what this will allow you to do is change the dimensions of the block that you're about to play. So if I wanted to change the X size of this, I could go to 1 and it changes the X size. And so on. So that makes it really quick and easy if you want to change what you're about to do before you place the block. And then the last button is the saved ships button. All of the ships that you've ever created and that have been auto-saved will appear here. So you can save your current ship. You can select a ship and delete it, for example. You can copy it to a clipboard. So, for example, this test ship, I could copy it to, copy it to my clipboard, hit Control v and it pulls that up, and I can just pop it in there. It's handy if you have some pre-made ships that you want to use as ship parts, for example. And then you can also apply a plan. So like this little bitty ship that I've been playing with, I could apply that plan and boom, automatically turns my ship into what I, whatever I have in the plan. So pretty versatile setup. Uh, you can always keep all kinds of different ships. You can see all these different ships that I've been working on and building. So it's really great if you want to come into creative mode and build out your ship and then take it into your main game and just apply the plan to your ship there. Makes it really easy in case you ever lose your ship and want to rebuild for example. So with that, that's an overlook of just the basic tools that you need to build your ship. Uh, in later videos I will talk about the different material types, the different block types, ship upgrades and things like that. So hope you enjoyed the video. If so, Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share the video with others if you think they'll enjoy it, and again, if you want to help support the channel, please check out one of the support links to my support options in the description of the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.